In this video, I'll be showing you how to make basic, easy, medium, or hard clock circuits. And we've been featuring Ice Knight over here. And he's going to help me out with this. So, basically, no, there's no prank video today, just to give a little break, because we haven't thought of a prank video we can do. But unfortunately, we can show you some of our redstone creation. Basically, last day, I also need to get me a thumbnail for this one right here. I gotta put my thumbnail for this one right here for the video that's gonna be released uh, tonight on how to make how to use uh, oscillating physics to make an ISO elevator compatible. Was you seen? I think these are droppers. So yeah, I'm gonna screenshot that right there. So anyways, I have to put the camera down so that I can uh, do this exactly. But anyways, to make an easy way clock circuit is that you're gonna have to use an, your, your redstone imagination. To create your create a harmonic oscillator that will basically have the companion set at three gigawatts and sixty seconds to activate it, and mostly clock circuits go forever, unless if you want to turn them off with a lever. So the basic item you're going to do is it's going to be the fastest Minecraft Minecraft redstone clock. So basically, someone had had broken the Guinness Book of World Records on on making this clock circuit. Basically, it involves with a sticky piston or a regular piston. So you'll grab yourself some redstone repeaters, torches, redstone, piston, dispenser, droppers, observers, maybe comparators, and what else we need? We need one more. Maybe we're gonna need some minecarts later. So maybe a lever to calm it down so the first thing you're gonna do is uh oh hey, one sec okay so we're back here I'm gonna place this. Yeah. all right so anyway we're back here so again so for this you're going to create yourself so grab yourself your rest on repeaters place one place one repeater right there and place another one like this way then for this Create yourself two lucky redstone companions. For this, to turn it on, use a redstone torch. That should turn on. Delete that, and it should turn on. It should leave it on. Next thing you want to do is you want to come right here, grab your redstone, and create like a line to, I think, three maybe. And then place a piston facing that way. Like that. Then the one thing you want to do. Hmm. Is that, is that watch this. Where, if you delete this one redstone and put it back together. It should do the trick. Like this right here. It moves that piston up and down. So looks like an object for example. If you put an observer right there, it has like a red little dot right there. Like that. So it's kind of a cool looking trick you can use. Okay. I know another cool feature is that it can actually you can actually use a repeater loop clock to activate with powering on like a little like a little redstone lamp game. So for this, you're gonna have to use when to use a couple of iron blocks, and we have to go all the way out into the sky to do this. You can use you can do it for the ground if you want, but we're gonna do it in the sky, see what it is. So you'll need you're gonna replace it with we're gonna replace the levers with some buttons, and then we'll get rid of our um let's see what we're gonna get rid of. Maybe our rest our um. We're gonna be using some of the dispensers, so we'll just grow, we'll get rid of our droppers and we'll grow some rest of lamps. And then also we need some iron block, or you can use any type of block you want. But we're gonna use some iron. You can also use some block of gold, emerald, any type of like other block you can't you can use, but you cannot use bedrock. Or we can what can we get rid of? How about we get rid of comparators? Okay. To make this you want to like go up a few blocks. You want to go up like count count to like ten blocks up. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten blocks. Then place your eleventh block there and delete the other ten blocks. Go ahead. Create three. You want to have to, you want to have the length to be three as well. The whole whole area. Like this right there. Have it like that, and then do the same thing as the other block. Then go the other way, uh, then come down. Now you gotta be really careful because these, these can really tr they control you. They some might some might like Minecraft like uh, hackers can like troll this game because they they think everything has to do with like like the zero one zero thing. But for this, most most hackers like use this substance. Phenomena. Okay, so you should have something like this right here. Next part is that you want to do something else. So you want to place redstone lamps around these one around the diagonal you made. Then if right here, for for these redstone repeaters, you, you want to make sure there are four ticks. Four ticks. All right. So you want to make sure there are four ticks. But you want to make sure they're facing the other way. Um, you want to make sure that most of these must be facing that way. So we'll do the same thing. And do the same thing on the other sides. As well, I think. Sorry, but just... I really have to be patient with this, right? So that's why the camera's down. Because... Patient. Um, okay, so for this way, you want to turn it around and then place that repeater so it's facing the uh, redstone lamp. If it's not facing the redstone lamp, then then basically you're basically having an arithmetic error. Um, <laughs> then you want to make sure we have the other one. So, when you get the basics of, of clock circuits and using oscillators, you don't want to have like a freak out moment. Just like use like your like use your knowledge. Let's check this again. Um, okay. All right. Once you have those right there, you are ready. You place your button anywhere around here, and we hit that button. It's, you should have something look like this right here. This is more like a this is more than that than like a clock circuit. It's more like a pulse shortener because clock circuits are like this right here. I mean they are a clock. They meant this is similar to a clock circuit. Like we'll call it like a clock circuit flash pulse shortener. So like a little game. But the main part is that if you look closely, this rest of the length is a turn on. Why? Well, because if you look at these two right here, we basically create an, an arithmetic mistake. Well, we didn't create an arithmetic mistake. It's because we flip one of these around. So it's the one that's the one that's close to that one that one corner redstone lamp should have it facing that way. All right, it's time to press it out. Mm, still not the, it's not the issue, but when you get basic knowledge of this. You wouldn't want to do, but you want to maybe put like a button right here. Put like a button, like a button right here. And see, these don't actually work because it's like a little trick game, like a little, like a little game. So this person mostly, mostly common, right? This is from this is a comma that puts this right here. So mostly the this, they mostly use all the like the uh linear algebra. So he wrote this repeated loop clock for four outputs represented by the lamps can be taken from the four corners. However, more outputs are possible. The button in the lower right corner as was used to introduce the pulse into the loops. So he mostly uses it as a pulse shortener. 
So another cool thing is that once you have these clock circuits, you want to you want to make sure these clock circuits have like this, for example. Like we're not, I'm not going to be building this because it looks like I can't like really zoom in on it because when I click on the picture, it's blocked. So yeah, but you can make sure it looks like this right here, a little easier step. This is more like a a two stroke four output hopper clock. But things do, these are like the I'm not sure what these blocks are for, but uh, it's called the the Seth Blings four output hopper clock. And Seth Blings, guess them what Seth Bling is. So Seth Bling, so a Seth Bling in Minecraft is what. So Seth Bling is basically is a is a YouTuber who who basically knows about the Twitch. He mostly uses his Twitch videos to talk about the Minecraft using in the sandbox. So check there you go check him out. So for this he both he's so for this right here, he's he he texted this right here. In the image you can see two peers at, at on at once. This will always be the case. It will not be a problem as you are pulsing impulse command blocks. It will work properly. So basically, so he says, I know that by Fabian's bug mention in the comments, it will be the best to make sure this entire circuit is inside one chunk. You can toggle the chunk board by pressing the F3 command plus the G command. Our option will be that they contain it all in the spawn chunks so it never unloads. So he mostly uses like a mod to like add like the chunk blocks here, which I think these are all chunk blocks. I'm not sure exactly what those are, like terracottas, but we can go maybe we can build that. So come on down, find like an empty place. I have like mounds of like land over here. I'm only trying to delete, but I can't because um, I just can't. So I want to at least at least stay here so I can show you that one uh block I made. The the one thing I made. I made that like that one it's basically you check out that one video where I created that XOR gate that has like that basically you want to use like mathematics to understand it properly I'm not sure exactly if I can find it or not but uh you check you could check that video out if you want to but anyways I'm gonna have to, for now I'm gonna have to create like a trail trees. But basically I I highly specific you can build one of these, so sorry for this video is taking so long because I don't wanna be like really long. How long is it? Most mo mostly my redstone like like <clears throat> like tutorials are mostly like an hour long because I have to place the camera down my lap so that I can like use my the controller with two hands. How long is this one gonna be? I mean like uh, it depends on, on how much uh Clock circuits I could build. Maybe a, few, maybe a couple of like, maybe for like a maybe like forty nine minutes or something like that. But anyways, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find like an open space where I can build this at. Cause I don't want to get really lost. Maybe I could just like I'm gonna just put like an iron block right here. I'll just build like an iron block, so I can just know where I'm at. This is gonna be a part of one of my trail trees. So if you're lost, you can build like yourself like a trail tree or like an iron like leg like block I'm doing so that I won't get lost. So I recommend that we go this way. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a space where I can put this at right here. So that iron block right there, it's a reference so I know where my other redstone bills are at. So for this, we want to make sure we want to get all the materials we need to build. I have to leave everything in my inventory first before I can start building it. So it looks like he used, I think he used, uh, I think that's the type of polished anthracite. You can use the type of, any type of block you want for this. But for this, I'm worried to use, I think it's, I think polished anthracite. Yeah, so grab yourself polished anthracite. Then we're going to grab our, I'm not sure exactly, like comment down below what kind of blocks are those. You know what kind of blocks are those, uh, Ice Knight? What kind of blocks are those? Or, uh, I can't not really, I don't really know. You don't know what kind of blocks are over? No, I don't. 
All right, guys. Breakfast. Look. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of blocks are those. Like, the ones have like that, like door. The ones that have like the little, the, the ones that have like the little dots on there. They look like the um, M portal ones. No, not they're not they're not M portal. Yeah, yeah, they look like. Maybe uh, you can use any kind of block you want. So I'm just trying to look for that one. But just grab any block you'll use. Then you'll need you'll need a few items to do this. You're gonna use you we need grab yourself some I think. Grab yourself some hopper, redstone repeaters, redstone comparators, hoppers. You'll need rest. I think. Does it call for redstone torches? Oh nope. But you'll need redstone as well. Hmm. So, mm, let's see what we can. Maybe uh, I'm about to have to like look around the blocks for quite some second. Give me one sec, guys. Okay, so let's grab any block you'll use. I'm not sure what this person did, but so I think Seth landed like a mod or something. But we're gonna make your. We're, don't worry, we're gonna make your hopper clock. So place any place yours right here. And then let's look at this other one. That's a rest and repeater, so you want to have it facing that way with instead and leave it leave it to one tick. Then for your polish and side, you're gonna you're gonna create like your little create two diagonals right here along behind it with redstone. Redstone comparator. Then for the hopper clock, it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little tricky. So for the hopper clock, you wanna place the, this this way. Just make sure the hopper clock you place the one right here. So here's the here's the way. To follow this, you wanna make sure you put them in the right direction. So the arrow for this one, for the first one here, the arrow is pointing towards towards the right. It's pointing towards the east. So we want to place our hopper going east. Right right behind that comparator. Second, we want to place the one that's facing south, which is down. The other one's facing is facing that way, which is facing west. So place the hopper Right there, and one's facing north. So place that right there, and you should have yourself a perfect hopper clock. Wait, oh, you have to cut the cut the video. Cut my purse in here. Okay, we're back in. So <laughs> here's what you have to supposed to have again. Make sure the hopper is facing east. Place one here. Make sure the hopper is facing south. Place one right here. Make sure this hopper right here is facing west. And make sure this hopper right here is facing north. So I did it for like a little reason, so I won't have to get like so I can we screw up. But you can do it as long as you want, but make sure that you follow these correct stances. Okay, our next idea is we're gonna start with the one we did for uh we started we started the first one right oh, sorry, we started the first one right here. For um, we did one when 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 it was facing east. Sorry about that. But the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do is we're gonna grab your polished anisite. You wanna place the polished anisite right here, along with a diagonal. Then you have a comparator. Make sure you have a comparator facing facing west. Along with that, with what is that? I think that's repeater. I'm not sure how those blocks are like working, so we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try to find our our best way to figure this out. But we're just gonna be you can, we're just using orange and uh, blue concrete for now until we find those other blocks. So place that there. Then also place your redstone 
right here. Okay, for the next thing we, we want to do is that this one here, this one was facing, was facing south. So for this one, you're gonna grab your grab your comparator. Make sure the comparator is facing is facing towards east. Like stone right there. Along with a polish and a sight. Then let me look closely again. Arrest and repeater. Make sure the repeaters are set to one tick. Then along with the orange the orange uh and white orange and blue concrete. So the hopper clock is kind of similar to what we did with the other one. And then also then for your polish on the site, place your place polish on the site there along with a piece of redstone. Leave the other one that's facing that's at the redstone repeater. And then for the last for the uh, right here for the next one we did was that this was facing <coughs> This one's facing west as well, so basically with this one right here. But for the next one, we're gonna do is we're gonna take a comparator. That comparator is gonna face where the hop that uh, hop, hopper is, the right corner, bottom one, along with our uh, yes, mm -hmm. our polished andesite with redstone. Then we're gonna place a repeater. Wait. Oh, uh, one sec, Jordan. For like a couple of minutes. Okay. To like, to like 350. Just All right, and then we want to go ahead and do it. Place no, actually. Orange and blue concrete right here. So. Sorry. What happens if it's like this right here? But we have to find those blocks. Once, so we go once. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, these are known as command blocks. And if you want to know how to get a command block, you gotta hit go into the cheat. Make sure you activate all cheats. Then hit this. Then you want to hit. Get, basically, you want to hit uh, uh hash hash uh give, and then you want to put in an a like at us command underscore block and you'll get yourself a command block so yeah all right and for the last for the last thing for for, for one of these compact clock circuits is can a clock circuit can affect a, an observer the answer is yes you know reason why is because an observer basically has that red dot and they'll basically observe some stuff Jordan, we'll see you later bud so for this, we're gonna make an observer clock circuit. So we'll grab observers, maybe repeaters, torch, redstone. Maybe grab ourselves a sticky piston, droppers, dispensers, hoppers, and then we'll grab ourselves a lever. So to make a observer clock circuit, which we have type observer clock circuit. So every any other clocks are can't affect. So you've probably seen this before. We did the we we showed you how to build one of these little uh what we use the 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 one of these elements. Hmm. I forget which one I did. I think I did these. I think I did this one right here, which involved uh, taking the redstone lamp and then by having by having redstone lamp power by taking a redstone block put in the middle. So to make an observer, an observer clock circuit, you can go ahead and do this. So for the for the observer uh, redstone clock circuit, you want to grab yourself, put, place your observer on the ground right there, okay, along with a repeater. And the repeater, I'm not sure like when the repeat where the repeater's at, like put it right here, four ticks, then this. And behind it, right, this right here. That's how you make an observer, an observer 
uh, clock circuit because if you look at that red dot, there it glows. But we want to show you something else. We want to make something that looks like this right here. So for this, you're going to... Basically, these are the ones right here. They show you a different communication. So if you want to make an, an, observer, an observer hopper circuit real quick, we'll play... It's, it's easy. It's just... It's just uh, it's one, one observer facing... You're facing that facing that way, and one facing on the top, and then place place both of them right here, along with a repeater. <sighs> then put redstone around it, around, and then with the torch. And it basically has like a little flashback. But yeah, so basically to make this right here, you want to we're gonna grab ourselves another piece of oh, we'll grab ourselves a blue concrete. A <laughs> or two blue concrete. Uh, we got we'll just we'll get rid of the hoppers. Blue concrete will be our block we'll be using. So for this, uh, what do we? And I think. Oh, what's up, Max? Hello. And then we'll just need, we'll, where do you sticky oh piston? Goodness. Bring him in. Sticky piston. For the first observation, you want to build a play a sticky piston right here, along with along with a along with a blue concrete block. And then basically, we want, we want to do redstone, redstone circuiting. This dude needs a bath. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Stinks. Who? Max. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not trying to be rude, but he needs a <laughs> No. So, we're going to create yourself a uh, redstone circuiting. So, one, two, three. So, wait, wait, wait. One, two. Like three right here. And then we, we, we're going to delete, delete that observer right here because it's going it's to gain our other. Uh, builds same as the hopper one the hopper one i was just showing how to like ha it's like a base example and then it actually did like a clocking circuit or, or like a pulse shortening mechan me mechanic part but that's really all right i want to say like oh, wait wait one i'm blocks is there at all i think it's three i think it's three one two three then place it down. One, two. And then I think another one. I don't know how he built it, but um, I think maybe like one more, and then. No, wait, 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 wait. Oops. Here, we're gonna get rid of our. Drop it real quick. I'll just put like a blue concrete right there. Sorry if this is taking so long, but anyways. Place right there. Along with another redstone. Wait. One. Two. Then grassy parts. Hmm. Okay, then we'll grab ourselves a block. The block wants to make sure the block is facing that way with the sticky piston going the other way facing to you. And then make sure you have the lever right there. And then watch this. If you if they're connected together, you should get something like this. They both should be facing out. <laughs> Now, there, the other thing is, we had to add as a redstone repeater. And then, let's see if there's any reaction with the repeater. Nothing with the repeater yet. We need to add a little bit more redstone circling, but go ahead now. Grab our observer. Make sure that the red dot is facing the 
make sure the red dot is facing at that block. Okay, how much more time do we got on this? Uh, I'll wrap up till like until after I'm done building that, then we'll, then we'll be done. Okay. All right. So then, for the other one, we have to go ahead. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Phone probably. No. To go oh. that knife. Yeah, I'll play with the knife. One, two, I think. And one. Two, I think. There, down. Two, and then. I think the other way back around. So, we hit that there. <coughs> we, get, we get something like that right there, but we basically need to finish our building. So, we're going to put that there for a second. And then place, place the block right here. Sorry for sneezing, my that Max just makes me sneeze. I think it's okay. I, you know I have allergies. So okay, the last thing we're gonna do is that we do this one, two, one, two I think three, I think one again, then okay. that one, two. That's Rosie. Oh, and then, wait, is, he in, is she in the closet? No, she. I think she's out the door. Two. Okay. So once you have that all taken care of, your observer clock circuit is now done. Now, set it back, we basically do this, and then watch this part. If you didn't if done anything right, you should get this. These should light up. Right? While this right here doesn't. Now here's a here's a good part. Switching off levers retracts both sticky pistons. So like this, for example, once you build them in the right place, they should do this. Second, observer de only detects removal of the wool and emits a pulse. So, for example, the observer's right here. If we press the lever, it's going to detect that. Thirdly, pulse travels the circuit and activates the left piston again. Trigger another pulse. So, basically, this, this other block here is basically is blocking the, the rest of the repeater. But if you understand it, understand it by by reconnecting it together, you'll get basic basic involvement. And for this right here, I suggest that maybe you use like a Mess on torch for this one right here. See what I did? Okay. This is a, it's a little tricky. All I did was what I, I placed a redstone torch right here, and then I hit this lever and watch this. That's how I did it. And that's how. Because it keeps doing that. And that's how you make. And then you start the basic steps of how to make basic clock circuits. But anyways, this wraps up for this video. Want to see more? Hit the link down below. Check out my my channel. Check out my boy Ice Nice. It's from the headquarters. Check out any of my controls you want to subscribe or join the Wander Station. And then subscribe to him. Hashtag Save the Ice. Hashtag Save Antarctica. Hashtag Super Warming. Hashtag uh, All Lives Matter. All Lives Matter. And hashtag watch out. Yeah, thank you. Well, I fucking forgot. Yeah. Wow, that's fucking embarrassing. And make sure you, and make sure that you subscribe to him. Join the the igloo station and the vortex. Yeah. And and post notifications to get all the videos daily. And comment down below which which I is your favorite try video. To post as much as I can, but hey, this YouTube ain't my life. Keep that. Yep. Yeah. So. As always, thumbs up for safety. Like a bell cut. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,